Hello and thank you for joining Ros Dreyer again. Obviously I'm with Shelley Davenport. I'm the principal interior designer of The Open Door. Yes, and we're going to have our afternoon tea, but we've never seen sitting tea. I showed you once, but we still enjoy doing it. And it seems a lot of you are getting a lot of fun out of it too. So today we're going to talk about Mackenzie Childs, um, which for many of you may not know, we're going to get into it. It's actually sort of quirky and whimsical, which is very much me and Shelley. We both adore this product. And it started originally in 1983, and it started in a basement of a big old prep house of, for ladies, you know, girls' school. Um, and that, then they transformed and bought another place in Willard House, which is apparently in Aurora in New York. And there they do everything. Everything they do is handmade or they finish it in a handmade way. There is nothing that comes out that has not had a great, if not the entire thing being made by hand, which is one of the things I also love about it. And it comes in all different types of uh, materials from metal to ceramics to soft furnishings. So without further ado, let me share my screen with you. And Shelley and I have already pre-picked, of course, some of our favorites. So the first one I want to show you in just a second, actually is the Courtney. And that is the standard favorite one. So Shelley, take it away and tell us about why this room works when there's so much going on. Oh, right. So, um, anyone that knows McKinsey Childs, they started with the Courtly check, which is the classic black and white. And they've expanded on many styles and patterns over the years. But if you see in this room, just as a sampling of all their different items that they have added in, it's just a great, great complement to the classic black and white check. So. I know that a lot of people that are familiar with McKinsey Childs are used to the dishes and the serving pieces and maybe a rug or, but they've really expanded and offered a lot of different accessories that complement the furniture. And if you also see, they always love to put in a bit of whimsy. Mm -hmm. So if you notice that cute little pig on top of the bar cart, um, whether it's a deer seasonally, which we're going to show you later, or fun rabbits or fun little items, frogs, they really always complement nature in their designs, as you can see from the patterns on the pillow. So it's a great, great way to accessorize any room. But what, there's everything, if you think about it on the surface, would tell you it didn't, but the room's so plain and simple. But it's, it's, as you said, they make the different, uh, mix the different colors and fabrics. But you've got sort of two different types of golds going on there. You've got silver, you've got flowery patterns, you've got symmetrical patterns, you know, you've got and the trolley. It would seem like it's too much, but it totally works. And that's one of the things I like. And as you say, a lot of whimsical stuff. So now we're going to go to one of my favorites, the bee. This isn't the best picture, but I absolutely love this chair. It looks so inviting. It sort of has a very regal look about it too. So Shelley, tell us why this works when, as a game, there's every reason it shouldn't. <laughs> right, so you would think mixing patterns, right? The stripes, the patterns, um, uh, gold and black and white always work if they're put together correctly. Obviously they've done a stellar job of this and not only is this a stunning an accent chair, uh, but they also do a very great job in complementary pieces. And topiaries is one of the things that McKinsey Child does a stellar job at. Um, always, always, whether it's this particular pattern or even their classic one, they always make beautiful, beautiful complementary pieces to their furniture as well. Where it's just not, it's this right amount, but not too much. I love it and I like the sort of, look at the different textures like in that yellow pillow and then at the battle cushions, more frenemily known here. Um, but I also like the picture of the ducks or swans, whatever they have with the plumage in the center of the chair. But there's a lot going on, but it doesn't come across that way. They just do such a terrific job. They so do. That, that is one of the items that they have always been able to incorporate into their designs, whether it's a rug, or some of their newer patterns that they've released, they always get the pattern mix 
right. And it's complementary colors or complementary style or a combination of both. So the next one you showed me and I absolutely love this. So I love these. Coming. <laughs> are gorgeous. They can be used on a table. They can be used, at, I mean, on a dining table or they can be used as an accent anywhere throughout the home. Um, and they do come in different colors, but this will work in any style home, whether you have a more traditional, classic, or even modern, contemporary. These are a beautiful statement piece for any table or an accent table. I love it. But the next one, because they do so many gifty things, this is an idea, obviously, as a gift, but here's just sort of the classic, everything from a reef. So tell us more about the accessories, even down to the chessboard, which I'm not sure is this, but it works well. <laughs> so they have, they have the best accessories ever. They're great gift items, frames, clocks, um, pet bowls, wreaths, vases, and they do them in all of their different patterns so they can complement again, any style, home, and then they also expand with different accessories that you can layer in. So whether it's one particular style, you may also be able to layer in, for example, if you have the courtly check, you could layer in the flower market, which we're gonna sh show next. Um, I mixed that personally in my kitchen because it was a gift and I love it. And it was, to be honest with you, it was not something that I would have chosen However, when I got a few pieces of it, I was just stunned at how great they look together. So you could never go wrong with the McKinsey Child's Gift. I do. And it's got the B in this one, of course, for me. So, as you said, we're talking a little bit about the flowers. We're going to see more of it in a second. But to my gifts, what a great idea that they go this far out. You know, they even do the boots or wellies, as we would call them in England, to go with everything. They're just fun. But now I'll take you on to where you want to be, the flower market. There you go. So they have beautiful, beautiful accessories that complement the court, courtly check, whether it's a colander or, as you can see, a cover here, the vases. And it just, it's a stunning, stunning statement together. And I've set a beautiful brunch with both of them mixed in with the flowers and all the colors that you can bring in. It's a great, great compliment, whether you have the black and white, the blue and white, or even the parchment. It looks stunning together. Now that's the, the check. But actually, if you notice the actual flower market of these, there's actually three different colors going Then They also do three. You've got the white one at the top, obviously, on the quarterly check. You have the green calendar, and you can just about see in the bottom right a black dish that also carries the same. But our favorite, and this is where we both really love it, is the seasonal stuff. So let me start with my little favorite, and then we'll go to your favorite, the rabbit. I love the rabbits and the frogs. They're my favorite. I just think they're so funny. Shame is we can only use them a short time, but I love these rabbits. Tell me what you think of the accessories. Oh, I love the accessories, especially for springtime and obviously the winter, which we'll talk about at Christmas, but they have the, just the best complementary accessories to already what you have. And then you mix them in with natural elements from your garden. Um, here, obviously it's shown with fresh radishes, which is really fun for an Easter brunch, but you can also mix in so many different natural elements and the preserved boxwoods, which again, they do gorgeously. So you mentioned we're going to Christmas at a later time, but I did sneak one in. I think it's one you really like on Christmas, just because I know you like Christmas, I had to add it. So tell us about the deer that I know you're very dear to. <laughs> yes, so they do a stunning, stunning job with Christmas, whether it's a wreath or a garland or these beautiful reindeer. Um, Every single element that they do for seasonal just creates a different whimsical pop in your home. And sure, this is a lot going on, right? You've got the reindeer, the garland, and obviously this was you know, a promotional picture, but you can add just one piece of it or collect pieces over time. They have nutcrackers, which I'm collecting now. 
and I have a personal collection of nutcrackers. So they just make everything tied together and they just do a fabulous job with just adding on different beautiful accessories, whether they're interior or exterior. I agree. And I think you've enjoyed us. Hopefully you know a little bit more about Mackenzie Charles now. By the way, Mackenzie Charles can be bought in any Neiman Marcus, believe it or not. But there are other, there are other stores that do it, certainly locally, like Browns in Alexandria. There's, there's quite a few. It's not cheap, but it's a lot of fun to own. And they do the barn sale. Tell us about the barn sale quickly, and then we need to wind up. So they do a barn sale every year in Aurora, New York. Uh, unfortunately, I have not been able to go personally because they always have it when we take our summer vacation. But they do do a sale in their barn in New York in July, and I've heard so many fabulous things about it. You have to come early, and you may even have to wait in line, but I think it's very worth it to get all the treasure pieces that they are available. That's wonderful. Well, thank you again, everyone, for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you ever have any questions, let us know. So it's bye from me and bye from Shelley. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.